almost every day. Uh, I, I'm a little bit of a procrastinator. I just did another five or six slides of a lesson, and I kind of, uh, it's quiet in the house, so I'm like, all right, I'm going to play another one of my instant tournaments, and then after this tournament, I'm going to pick your brain a little bit about some stuff for my website, so I appreciate the feedback I got the other day about the logo, and I realized that I might as well involve more people in, in these in, in discussions because I have a lot of decisions to make and people your 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 input definitely helps and thank you to everybody that sent me even messages uh, who watched it after the fact so all right so today I'm gonna go out I'll go back at it and try to make it two in a row I'm not gonna overdo it though I'm only gonna play one uh, if I try to play two tell me to stop um, instead maybe I can kibitz if I, if I if I'm really not ready to be done streaming uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and play another one and let's do it Okay, nice hand to start. I have uh, two club opener, it looks like. I have 23 points, although I will say that opening two clubs, is, it, it's going to make an un for an uncomfortable auction, but I don't really have a, a second choice. So I'm going to start by opening two clubs. And s partner bid two hearts. What did the robots play? Whoa! Five or more hearts. The king, queen of hearts. 8 to 12 total points. Well, it looks like we have a slam. Uh, that's pretty good. If my partner even just has the ace of spades to go along with it, we might make 7 if I can throw away partner's clubs. So I know partner's got 5 hearts. Well, let's set hearts as trumps. Let's let's agree hearts here. There's no reason for me to go any faster than a 3 heart bid. And 4 hearts just didn't say anything about their hand. I still think I have to go for this. It looks like my ace, king, queen, jack of diamonds are going to be able to throw away my partner's club. Uh, if uh, Worst case scenario, I might go down. If my, part, if my partner, what's the worst case scenario is if my partner's got the same shape as I have. Because I know if partner's got 5 hearts, all I need from them is to have 2 spades. So I can rough 1 spade in my hand. And, and that'll be the 12th trick. The 5 hearts in their hand. The sixth one in my hand is a six trick, and then my six minor suit tricks is twelve. So I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it to twelve tricks as long as partner isn't the exact same distribution as me. So I'm gonna check for key cards right now. Uh, if partner shows two with the queen, I'm gonna go seven. But partner showed one, so I'm just gonna go six hearts. And we know which one it is. It is the king of hearts. And I can't afford to play. No trump, obviously, because the, the the spade suit is is wide open. Okay, kind of as predicted. I, I'm I I can't actually make seven on this hand. You can see I, I I can throw away three I can throw away three cards from dummy, but three spades that's not even going to get rid of a loser. So I'm just going to end up using my diamond to throw away one club from dummy, kind of as as we expected. So I'm going to win the ace and draw trumps, and then I'm just going to claim. There's no way I'm going to avoid a loser on on this hand. Okay, I'm going to give up a trick, making six. That should be flat. I mean, it's hard to believe. Oh, no, a few people missed slam, so that's pretty good. Take it. But nine others had the same result. All right, uh, 14 highs. Uh, common problem, especially in these robot tournaments, I feel like we see this spot more often than in most tournaments, uh, than like in real life. There's these balanced hands that look, should I make a takeout double or not? Uh, this hand qualifies for a takeout double. I have support for the other three suits. I have uh, nice honors. I, I, I see no reason not to. I'm, I'm, if, and the problem is if I don't, I'm never, I'm going to have, I have the wrong shape to enter later. So I'm just going to do it now. Um, partner bid two hearts. If I, we don't even know that that for sure has has five. They could have. You can see they can have four or more hearts and six to ten points. I've done my job. Uh, if my partner, I have the minimum amount of heart support. I have the worst distribution I could have for my take a double. It is not my job to compete here. I've already done what I had to do. It's a very important concept that every bridge player needs to kind of get through their head. When you're a takeout double, it's very, very common that people go overboard. They make their takeout double and they forget that they've already kind of shown their hand. They showed the opening hand. We showed support for the other three suits. The second call, once you've already made a takeout double, really important that you don't get involved again. Uh, so I would like to tell my partner I like diamonds, um, but I don't, I, I, I'm not going to waste the nine in case I don't, I, okay, it looks like the nine wasn't going to matter. That was an interesting 10. So the 10 is probably from, I mean, they didn't play low, right? So, so it's probably from Jack 10. 
um, or queen jack 10 doesn't make much sense they would have finessed if they had queen 10 or so the 10 is a funny card it almost looks like partners got five diamonds and four hearts it looks like partner should have competed I'll, i will say that now partner probably is i'm gonna guess their distribution is two four five two i guess maybe just they would have competed with that shape so maybe it is more likely that declare actually does have queen jack 10 of diamonds but we'll see anyway I, i'm gonna i'm gonna duck this uh, in case his partner has singleton king of spades, I don't want to. I don't want to drop it. The, okay, I'm gonna th third hand high here. Okay, partner didn't have singleton. Uh, a singleton spade. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna play back a heart now. I could cash the king of diamonds. Uh, but there's no urgency to. It's not going anywhere. Uh, and uh, my, if Declarer has made a mistake, the robots wouldn't normally make a mistake. But if the Declarer has has Queen Jack Ten of Diamonds, I don't want to set up a diamond for them to discard a heart from Dummy. I can imagine the heart first heart play went low, low King Ace. I can imagine if my left hand opponent has the Queen of Hearts, and my partner has the Jack, that we have a heart trick. So I don't want to set up that diamond trick. Although with the robots, who knows? Maybe maybe I'm trusting them too much that if they it might go nine of hearts, jack, queen, and, and okay, it didn't. So okay, Declare's got the jack of hearts. So there's nothing else to this. It looks like Declare was four three. Four three two four. Again, there's no urgency on that ace of clubs. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play back a heart. It looks like Declare's got the same shape as Dummy, actually four, three, two, four. So there is, there's, there's no that we can't get another club trick out of this. It turns out we might have been able to get another club trick if partner had led their double tin club. We could, partner could have, I could have ducked the club. Partner could have won the king of spades, come over to my club, and we could have taken a club rough. Uh, that would have been, uh, we could have actually beat this hand. Uh, but instead, we're just going to end up with, um, with, with the four tricks we have plus the ace of clubs. Well, I'm going to duck in case partner has the jack double tin and they make a mistake, but... No, they didn't. But my ace is not going anywhere, you can see. All right, they made two. Um, partner should have competed. We definitely belonged at the three level. Uh, we can go over this just for a second. That partner definitely made a bad decision. Uh, they partner had five four in two of the unbid suits. Uh, I I had made a takeout double of clubs. They they just had a perfect hand to compete to the three level. It's a split deck hand, but you don't want to let the opponents play two spades with a hand like that. So partner should have competed. They could bid two hearts the first time and then come back with three diamonds. What's interesting about that is normally that sounds like your hearts are longer, but when you're responding to a takeout double, you're always going to lean towards bidding the major. So in fact, when partner does bid two hearts and then comes back bidding three diamonds, we know they don't have five hearts. They would still always compete to three hearts with five hearts. So had partner come back with three diamonds, I would know that they're they're either four four or more likely even four hearts and five diamonds is kind of an interesting thought so and like i was saying if partner led a club on this hand we could have uh, i i could duck the club at, at that trick oh and it also looks like if we never broke hearts if we never ever broke hearts we were actually entitled to another heart trick so that was no good that we uh that that we we let them make it but partner could have also what i was just saying is lead a club i could duck it and now when they go and play a spade over to the ten and king we could go club and club rough and score that six of spades for down one and uh we could finish the job by actually uh then partner could now play uh, a diamond and 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 it's possible that we might be able to uh also get two heart tricks. We actually could have beaten two hearts, two tricks. I would guess that the the ro this double dummy thing is going to say that they're supposed to go down two on a club lead. Nope, down one on a club lead. So there must be something else going on later in the hand that we couldn't avoid leading hearts. Because I'll just show you uh, when it went diamond, ace, and now see it still says they're down one, right? It still says the robot or the the, the double dummy analysis says they're down one. And so when it goes to 10 and king, you'll see here when partner's hearts are going to be the card that you can see that because partner, the only card that could have let them make it now was partner breaking hearts. That heart suit on its own was the, the, the 
Declare would have to lose two tricks in the suit. If they led the 10 from dummy, I could cover with the king, and now partner's queen 8 would be sitting over the jack. And if they led low from dummy, and it goes low, jack, queen, now my king 9 are sitting over the 10. And this is a common, 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 common theme, that it's not a good idea to break new suits on defense, on declare play 2. The first person to lead a suit is very often giving up a trick, and so it's a common concept anyway. All right, onwards and upwards. Uh, so I have 12. My partner has at most 12. Um, this is actually a an instant tournament spot where I'm probably just supposed to pass and leave my partner in one heart. Uh, I know that we don't have a game. I don't really want partner inviting. I don't really want to play 3-0 no Trump. I have three card support for partner, so I'm just going to leave this here. This is unconventional as far as bridge, but uh, I it's, a, it's an instant tournament solution um, that I can't resist. Ooh, and we had a better fit available to us as it turns out. But I might be able to turn this around and score a bunch of trump tricks here. It's not good though. I, I mean, uh, partner having four spades was by f and only four hearts was by far my my disaster scenario. Uh, it's the only circumstance where it could work out badly. But even still, um, and actually, in four four spades would just be an amazingly good contract. So this worked out very very badly. Uh, I'll, I'll take my zero. see if I can salvage something. The Ten of Spades also, the fact that the Queen of Spades is on side, like maybe Four Spades might go down on a bad day, but if that's a singleton Ten of Spades. Um, in real, if I was playing in real life, uh, it would depend on my agreements with my partner, David. I, like with Warren, I play that I'm not allowed to bid one spade unless I'm unbalanced. So I would bid, I would, my choices would be to raise to two hearts with, on three card support or to bid one no trump. I would bid one no trump because I have king doubleton of diamonds. I have stopper in the other suit and I, so I, I don't, and I don't have that great of a hand. So I wouldn't want to encourage my partner to go in hearts. That's, so my choices with Warren would be between one no and two hearts. Uh, normally, I think standard is just, I guess, to bid one spade on the four card suit and because, like if you're taught that you have to bid your spades up the line, then 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 you would you have to bid your spades, or you're never going to show it. But I think that I would probably bid one. Uh, I don't know. Uh, one no, two hearts. They're all okay. I, I don't think there's a right answer. I'm on, honestly don't know the right answer. All right, let's get some roughs and dummy. Uh, let's try and just cross rough this hand, maybe, or I can draw trumps. Yeah, I have to because if I draw trumps, then then I'm going to get tapped out. I realize they're probably going to get a spade rough out of all this, but I'm just going to take a bunch of roughs. Oh, that's a funny card. Oh, they didn't know that, that right, this hand is the closed hand. Hmm. So I can go queen of clubs, I can throw away a spade. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to play another club. And I'm going to rough it. Oop. This is not working out. They're, and they're playing a trump back? That's mean. All right. Okay, so they had five hearts on my right. That's an interesting development. They had five hearts. And... Huh. So what is what, what what do I know? Righty has two spades, five hearts, three clubs, and three diamonds. I think at this stage I have to. Um, I, they've they've got a, a, a trump trick coming to them. I'm wondering if I play if I play a heart, and then I play a spade. I think that either way, I'm going to lose a heart and a diamond. My only hope here is that the jack of diamonds is on side, and then I'll, I'll I'll get three tricks. So let's see what I can do here. I'm going to play a diamond to the 10. Okay. So now they're going to play back a trump, and I'm going to win it. I'm going to cash that queen of diamonds, which I know is going to hold. And then they're down to two trumps on their last two cards. So there's not nothing I can really do about it. So I'll make three. I don't know if that... Maybe that won't be that bad. Jack of diamonds being on side... Queen of spades on side. Spades going to make a lot of tricks. No, I moved 
up with a 78%. Wow. So I, I, that's, that's amazing because I, 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 I bought a worst case scenario uh, of my partner having four spades and a really good hand for spades at that. Only having four hearts. This, everything seems to be working other than the five one hearts and I still got an 80% board. That is remarkable. Three people were in four spades making and tons of people were going down and there was pass out boards. People said, looked at their 12 count and said no. So I, I, I would basically knew when I was playing one heart that I was not, I was going to get a plus score. So that was, I was beating the pass outs for sure. All right. Um, and hi, Carlene. I saw you commenting there. Uh, so here I, I have 16 doubles takeout. Doubles not takeout. Double says two plus spades. I'm still doubling. What am I going to do? I have, I have probably four tricks here. Uh, they're stealing. Yeah, they're just, just theft. Well, they have the Queen of Diamonds. Uh, Declare's got the Queen of Diamonds because partner led the Jack. So they have seven, eight tricks for sure. I don't really know. I'm going to play Ace of Clubs in a club. Seems like... Okay, so we're going to need two heart tricks here uh, to beat this hand. Uh, it's very possible because Declare's got... Um, one club. Hopefully they only have two diamonds and we're just going to get two heart tricks. Okay, one. I can throw a club. That's useless. They, they, and now it's funny because they, they but, the re, but when they drew the trump, this is actually a really great thing to remember. So once they drew, if they, if they had another diamond left in their hand, they would never have drawn Dummy's last trump. They could have just roughed it. So I know that they don't have diamonds left because, they, because they're running trumps un, uh, unprovoked, like they're just playing trumps. I know for sure they don't have a diamond loser left in their hand. So I'm just going to wait and get... Oh, the partner had a... Oh, the partner had queen doubleton hearts. All right. Down one. Best we could do. I might have been... If I had shifted to a low heart... Um, we, 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 we had the chance to take a third trick on this hand. Uh, if I didn't need it, I got 92 anyway, but if I'd shifted to a low heart and declare played low, we actually could have got queen of hearts, ace of hearts and a heart rough, but I, I, I couldn't really risk it when, when dummy came down. They could have just as easily had singleton king of hearts and three little clubs. So I couldn't really lead a low heart back. That's why I led the ace of clubs because then if it's singleton king of clubs, I could see it. And if it's not, then I can just keep playing clubs. So, so it was kind of this, a safety thing of playing the ace of clubs in a club. All right, uh, I have 13 and a five card suit. This is a really good hand uh, for uh, for this auction. I, I have to pass and I'm not very happy about it. W w am I allowed to bid two clubs that show four clubs? The robot plays uh, just completely non-forcing no trump. Yeah, I'd rather play two spades probably than one no, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave it here. It's kind of the standard bid. Okay. So they've let a diamond. It looks like I've got four spades and two diamonds and a heart. So I'm going to make my contract unless the spades break really badly. Uh, unfortunately, um, I won't be able to get that heart trick. I, I can, I'm going to win this ace of diamonds. Uh, I'm going to play a spade to the jack. I'm not, I wouldn't play the 10 there. I don't want them to know what's going on. If I played the 10, it would be a little bit uh, more um, descriptive to them. So at this stage, now that they've, 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 um, now, now that they've cleared my diamond stopper, I don't see a safe way. Like if I let them in now, right now I, you can, you can count my losers. I, I have these two little heart losers and I have three club losers. So I have five more losers. But if I let them in, if I, if I duck, first of all, I might be marooning my diamond and dummy, though unlikely. But but uh, even still, even if I win it, if I let them in, they might take four clubs and three diamonds. So uh, that's seven losers, plus I've already lost one. So I just have to take my tricks and run right now. I'm going to go heart to the ace.
Nothing I can do here. I'm playing the cards out, but I know I'm not taking another trick. Dropped on that. I uh, wonder why. Did, because people were in two spades making another trick. The heart suit was favorable. So in spades, we would have lost three clubs, one heart, and one spade. So we would have made two spades. You see that all these people. So what do they do? They bid two clubs. They rebid two spades in the five card suit. Yeah, they all bid. I don't know. I tied all the one no one knowers. Just a few people. All right, 24 points. Is that right? 7 and 7 is 14, and 6 is 24 points. Okay. So this is the robot special. Uh, the the 2 no positive. Uh, I hate this method. I'm going to start by showing my five-card club suit, though. Although, yeah, because we, we might have a grand slam. Although I don't know how we're gonna bid it, I was just thinking like sometimes you just want to keep your 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 hand quiet in these things, and uh, but the problem is partner's gonna be declaring in six no trump anyway, so they're gonna see my hand, so I don't really care about about really squealing about my what I have. So I'll bid three clubs. Partner jumped to four no blackwood in support of clubs. Okay, I have four. No, I have five. I have all of them, um, and I don't have the queen of clubs. There's a good a good example. You don't see this very often. To show five, you show two. Uh, so that's five hearts, two or five. And now five, no. Have all key cards. So let's try six diamonds to tell partner I have the king of diamonds. Do you have the king? Seven clubs, okay. I wonder if it's going to be right to play a no trump. Probably not. I mean, well, I don't know. It depends on if partner's got a doubleton diamond or what. But you can, if partner has the king of hearts, that's three points. The queen of clubs is five. Yeah, th there's no reason that, that I know for sure that that if they have the king of spades is eight, that'll throw the two of diamonds. But I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a destination for 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 this one, so I'm gonna pass and play seven clubs. I'm declaring this because I opened two clubs. Okay, so. Partners, King, Queen of Spades look like they're going to take care of my hearts. And I just need the diamonds to break. It turns out that we did actually want to play in 7, no trump, uh, unfortunately. Okay. I'm going to draw trumps first. No funny business. Okay, that's that. Seeing that diamond is, is is very helpful because now when I play the king of diamonds, I can pick up four one diamonds on either side, and now I can claim. I can just take my ace of spades. There's only two diamonds left out, so my queen and ace will take the last two diamonds, and my ace of spades, uh, I'll take, get that out of the way, and then I can go over to dummies queen of diamonds to throw my eight of hearts and my queen of hearts and make thirteen tricks. Should be a good board. Getting to seven, um, yeah, jumped into first. Uh, even though no trumps was a better spot, it seems as though I got a top anyway, 100%. Wow. I wonder why it was 100. All I really did there was, was kind of answer questions. I showed my hand with three clubs, and then partner asked for key cards. I showed how many I had, and then partner asked for kings, and I showed the one I had. So it's interesting that I got 13. I mean, that that, that what did, where did they fail? Oh, they just they just went four clubs Gerber. Is that, everybody wanted to bid 2-0, no, 5-0. No. Nobody thought to just bid their longest suit. It's funny. I don't know. All right, opening hand. This is this is going uh, smoothly, much much more smoothly than most of these tournaments have been lately. Um. All right. What do the robots play here? Uh, two diamonds of promise. Five. Two heart shows four or more hearts, but sixteen to twenty-two total points. I do not have that. Same with two spades. Uh, all right. So I have to go two no. Uh, that's going to show my balance minimum, and I don't have a spades stopper per se. Uh, re rebittable, three plus diamonds. So now I would really like to, to tell partner I have four hearts. I'm going to do that right now. And they, they have four spades. That's okay. 
So, so we found our way to a spade fit. So partner's got a singleton heart. That's so weird. This is such a strange system in auction, but it looks like partner, when they bid three diamonds, showed three plus diamonds, and then it looks like you're four plus spades. Like they can't have five spades. So that's a really weird description. So I guess I got to go four spades. Partner sounds like partner's four, one, three, five. So um, I might just be like, this might be a complete disaster if the robot's completely tricking me. So, but we'll see what happens. Okay, they were actually four, one, three, five. That's perfect. So, okay. So, uh, dummy is south, the the bottom hand. And I, my plan needs to be to kind of draw trumps and set up dummies clubs. Uh, I can return to dummy with heart roughs. Uh, yeah, I believe two clubs is a game force. Uh, I, I and they had a pretty aggressive. It was an aggressive bid, but uh, yeah, forcing two over one, fourteen or more total points. Yeah, so there's a little bit aggressive, but um, reasonable. So my plan here is I think going to be to play the ace king of spades, then the ace king of clubs and a club rough, and then if the clubs are three three, I'm going to be able to even. Throw away my diamonds on the clubs and actually rough a diamond, but so so that's that's there's no real way around this. I'm really hoping spades are not four one when I take this line of play, but I need to do this for okay they're not. So now I can go ace of clubs, club to the king, club rough. Okay, that's just as good. Uh, I can now I can rough a club. We can play Ace of Hearts and a Heart Rough. I play Jack of Clubs, throwing a diamond. Seven of Clubs, throwing a diamond. And now I might even, if that Queen of Hearts was a true card, this might even rough out the King of Hearts. No, okay. All right, I'll take my making five. It's pretty straightforward uh, hand. Got did well to play in spades, I guess. Uh, no, yeah. When when I have a game forcing hand, Carlene, I I always bid my longest suit first when I have a five card suit. So so yes, I I would bid two clubs with that north hand. If I was treating it like a game forcing hand, I would always if whenever I'm five four in two suits, I'm always gonna bid my five card suit first with a game forcing hand. I I wouldn't have had this convoluted auction to find the spade fit, uh, but. Um, it just, uh, I, I, yeah, normally, like, it, even, yeah, I would definitely have bid two clubs. If I was 4-4, four, four, if I was just a balanced hand over one diamond, I would bid one spade. But when, when, I'm, when I'm too suited like that, it's too hard. You'll never really get, like, if you bid a spade, uh, the problem with bidding a spade is, is, is it, 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 you're never really going to be able to get your clubs across later. It's going to be very difficult because first you're going to have to set the fourth suit four thing, and then you're going to bid clubs. And it's get the auction's going to get pretty high pretty quickly. So it's easier to just set the game force first and then find your spade fit afterwards for sure. Uh, so um, they led the jack of spades because um, they. Um, no wonder it's strange. That I, I wasn't being able to read uh, all the chats, but now I've got it. Okay, so. Uh, they just led the jack of trumps because they knew they knew they knew North had had uh, a singleton. Like they weren't really, they were just leading. It, it was Jack Ten Doubleton. It wasn't just Jack Doubleton. I think it would have been really weird to lead from Jack Deuce Doubleton. But from Jack Ten Doubleton, it's somewhat safe. It, it can cost a trick to lead from Jack Ten Doubleton. But they didn't really want to lead from anything. The only suit that they might have led from was Hearts. They knew North had a singleton from the bidding. Uh, it would be really awkward to lead a diamond. Although a diamond, I guess maybe after after the auction continued the way it did. There actually did become some urgency for them to get their diamond tricks in. They knew I was 4-4 four, four in the majors, and I'd opened a diamond, so I was either 4-4-3-2 four, four, or 4-4-4-1. Four, 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 and if in those like with, with the club suit on their right and them holding queen doubleton of clubs, there was somewhat urgency that the diamond tricks may go away. So uh, maybe they should have let a diamond, but otherwise a jack of spades was a, a reasonable secondary alternative. It wasn't, it wasn't a... Um, I don't know. Lead problems are hard, and the robots asking why the robots made a lead is. I, it's going to be very tough for me to explain why because I I don't understand their leading 
their leading philosophy. Uh, but here I do know my philosophy with 20 point hands is to open to no trump. And when I don't have a four card major, deny a major. This should be Smolin. Uh, partner should be showing five spades and four hearts. Over two no, it's not a jump. Over one no, you have to jump to Smolin. But over two no, we don't invite. There's no invitational hands. It's just Smolin. So I'm going to confirm that spade fit here with two, three spades. I believe three spades, is, you can see here, it's better than two spades. Uh, I do have a pretty good hand. There's easily a chance for slam. If partner's got the king of spades and the king of clubs and the king of hearts, doubleton diamond, we'll have a slam. I do want to encourage partner, so I'm going to go three spades. Uh, but partner didn't have any interest in slam, so they just signed off. Okay. So they've led a trump. Interesting hand. So, so my my plan, my goal, uh, is going to be to. So, I, I see on the surface I have two club losers and a heart loser. Those are the ones that stand out. Although, although I, I have more losers, I I can't just count one heart loser. Those hearts have potential to be. There's potential for many heart losers on this hand. So, I'm I'm a little worried about. I can't just draw trumps. So my choices are either going to be to try to set up a club to pitch a heart. I could I could win the heart. Sorry, I can win the trump, and I can play ace of hearts and a heart. That'll set up a rough for me right away. But the problem is if I get the hearts wrong, I'm also setting up a lot of heart losers. So when they play back a trump, I, I'm, I'm killing my entry to my diamond suit with the ace of hearts. Uh, I don't think I really want to do that. I could win the spade and lead a low heart. Uh, that's actually in, 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 in the game. I can... I can They'll probably go up king if they have it. They don't know. So, in fact, that actually looks like a pretty reasonable line. But I, what I, I'm going to be, if I win it in my hand and lead a low heart, yeah. I, I do see the potential that if I set up the diamonds, I might be able to throw one, two, three cards away here um, if the diamonds are 3-3. Three, three. So maybe that's a better route. So I'm going to win this spade in my hand. And I'm going to play ace, king of diamonds, and a diamond. I think that's... That's uh, that's got to be right. Eight of diamonds. I don't like that card. Oh! No! I did not choose the correct line of play on this hand. 5-1 diamonds was a killer. Okay. Boo. Oh, and the trumps are a disaster too? Seriously? Why do they do this to me? All right, well. I don't even know if the club's cashing. Right, so, so at this stage, I'm down. I'm down. This did not work out well. Uh, Ace-King of Diamonds was definitely the, the losing line of play on the hand, but I still think it was a pretty practical approach to try to set up the diamonds, but caught this ridiculous break in diamonds. So at this stage, if my Jack of Clubs is not cashing, I think I need to go Queen of Spades and then Ace of Hearts and a Heart. But now if they win the... I have to play the Queen of Spades. I'm going to try and cash this club. I hope they're not 6-2 as well. They're okay, that was weird. Okay, so at this stage now, I'm actually f home free. I'm going to play Ace of Hearts and a Heart. And now, I don't even care if this loses. Uh, if it lost to East, I was going to be able to rough. My 7 of Spades was, was a high trump. So I, I can I can even discard on this one. Okay, and I claim down one. Oh well. It didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. I thought it was going to hurt. 42%. Some people make it. Oh, people played 3 no Trump. They didn't recognize Smolin. Or they just chose to play 3 no Trump. These people are kind of kind of aggressive here. Uh, some of them. Somebody made it. How'd you make it? 
ten of spades, you won it in your hand, you cash you just drew trumps and went after the club suit and just you were this person was just needing the heart finesse to work. Uh they, they I guess they can now go ace of hearts King of Case of Diamonds. Oh, they didn't even try diamonds. They, 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 I, I'm sorry. He can't. He can't not try diamonds. All right. I can bid two hearts. I can bid three hearts. It's going to show a very good hand. And four hearts is going to show a. Four hearts is preemptive, but three hearts is not. Okay. I, I, I can. I can buy this. I only have eleven points, right? Uh, so. I know that my partner's got about nine points too, because they don't have more. This guy's got up to ten. What do you have up to? Up to ten, and so I have eleven. It's twenty-one. So the most this person can have is eleven. Is the partner's got eight? I'm going for broke here with four hearts. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the queen here. Um, it might not work. Oh, it could be a singleton club, in which case it's going to go club, club rough, but that'll be the end of the hand, so I have to try. Okay. Great. And now I can claim because the clubs are good to throw away the diamond. Fourteen highs. I have a perfect takeout double, other than the strength. But I don't really have a choice. I'm the one who has to act because I'm the one who has short hearts. Hope it works. Completely gambles. The, these high level bids, these four heart preempts, they work. They're very effective. That's a nice hand over there, and this could be a somewhat interesting hand to play. So my east is the one with the super long hearts. Okay, so now I'm gonna go. I have to. I have to draw trumps. Well, okay. Diamond has been pitched. I feel like I still have to rough a heart here with my hand in my hand. But it might. I mean, if they, if they have nine of them. It's getting over roughed. It's a little weird that they won that heart and they didn't play another heart back. Oh, there was a singleton and dummy. No, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rough this back to my hand with the six. Please hold. Thank you. Now I can draw trumps. So they had eight hearts, no clubs. So if they have only two diamonds, if they had two diamonds, then my diamond's not going to be good. Okay. So if they have only two diamonds, then um, I don't think there's anything that I'm going to be able to do to make it. That with eight, eight hearts, two diamonds, no clubs, that would leave them with honor third of spades. So I, I don't think I can do anything if East has honor third of spades. If I, I have to go ace of diamonds. Okay, so they had three diamonds. Four diamonds, and they pitched one. Perfect. Gracias. Okay, made five. Cool. That was nice and friendly. Holding strong, just under 70% here. Um, 11 points. This is a kind of hand where I might not open. Uh, hey, how are you? Um, I, I don't have to open, but 5-5, five, five, it's a decent chance it's our hand, even without the spade suit. Uh, looks like they have the spade suit now. All right, partner had an invitational hand. I'm just going to pass. I feel like I've already won the hand by opening the bidding. 
Uh, so I, I'm not going to bid an aggressive game, even though the chances of game making are actually reasonably high. I'm going to go for for with a, I only have 11 for starters, but I feel like I've I've already won this hand. And I, and wow, uh, was it, was it ever important not to um, not to accept game? We have four top losers. All right, so. interesting situation so so what i see is i'm gonna lose two clubs a spade and a heart those four tricks i'm like i'm taking to the bank what scares me is the fourth round of diamonds uh if somebody's got jack 10 fourth of diamonds on either side uh, or 10 9 fourth or whatever whatever i have the nine but 10 8 fourth uh, i have to rough a, a diamond in dummy uh but in order to do so i'm gonna have to play queen of diamonds diamond of the ace and a diamond rough and now if they're four two i've still got a problem because somebody, somebody, they can duck the heart and win the heart, and then give their partner a diamond rough. Uh, so, so uh, really, I mean, I mean, if excuse me, if the hearts are three, if, if the diamonds are three three, I'm just, I'm gonna make three for sure. I'm wondering about maybe what if I just forget about the diamonds and, and try to set up a club and a spade trick. Like I win the ace of diamonds and lead the jack of club, spades right now. I think that's what I'm gonna do because um, they're gonna cover. A lot. It's going to create urgency for the opponents to to uh, to get their clubs cashed. They didn't cover. They didn't cover. So I'm going to go um, king. I don't think they have the queen when they don't cover there. So unless they have queen nine. All right. So now I can play clubs or I can just go after diamonds now. I'm going to go after diamonds now. I, I got the hard parts done. I'm going to, Now I can play a club to my hand. They're going to play back a spade. Oh, a diamond. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. I'm going to actually just cross rough this hand. I'm going to play a spade and rough it. I, my diamonds are good, but I'm going to play this king of diamonds now. Now they have to rough it. They didn't rough it, so that's perfect. So now I can throw away a club, and I'm just kind of golden. If I play, I could rough this diamond. I can rough this diamond, but then I have to rough a spade back to my hand. If they throw their spade, they're not going to do that, though. They still have the ace of spades on my left. I'm going to play the diamond. They threw it. Okay, well... Um, Oops, I, I hurt myself a little. They had five hearts? No, they had four hearts. It just doesn't matter, sorry, okay. All right, made four, sweet. They gave me that duck, they ducked that, uh, that ace of spades, that was helpful. And moving up in the world. We should. I should have a claim here. I just need to play normal. I have 12 points. I'm opening the bidding. Partner showed four more spades. I am leaving them there. I, I don't have a diamond stopper to bid no trumps. Like done. St end this tournament kind of the way I started it by passing a one level response. Although this one is completely standard because uh, I my partner is a past hand here. So even without a robot tournament, it's right to pass in in this spot. Okay. Who led here? Uh, they led on my right, the, and the one diamond overcaller is on my left. Ten points in my partner's hand. I have twelve. My left hand opponent's got king jack, fifth of diamonds, and something. I wonder if I'm supposed to either win this ace of diamonds and just take a spade finesse, or if I'm supposed to try to just elope with a lot of roughs and dummy. I've, I've got that club suit uh, to throw away a couple of my losers, although they've already you'll see they've already set up my diamonds right now, so set up their diamonds. I'm going to win this ace of diamonds because there's just no real reason for me to duck. And now the question is, do I finesse the spade or um, or do I just try to rough hearts? I think I have to f try to finesse the spade. But I wonder if I'm supposed to leave the jack because I feel like if the spade finesse is on, I really want to play the jack. But if the spade finesse is off, I really want to play to the queen. And I don't know what's better here. So righty showed up with the queen of diamonds. Lefty's got king jack of hearts and prob. I'm oh, sorry, king jack of diamonds and the 
you know, hard on her. What does it say that they need for a diamond overcall? 8 to 11 highs. So that we know about four of them. They almost certainly have another few points in hearts. They didn't open the bidding. I think I'm going jack of spades. This is going to work out badly if this finesse loses. But Okay. And the ace of trumps. Okay, now I can just run my clubs, and they're going to get those last four tricks. Okay, and that should be good for the win. I don't think that I could have done better on this hand. I don't think that uh, uh, anybody's going to catch me. Uh, I'm going to try the queen of hearts, but they're going to win it, and they're going to draw my trump quickly. Okay. Cool. Two in a row. Sweet. After after the a tough weekend of losses, I'm glad to put some better scores on my uh, have a good session there. 73. Uh, not a lot happened today. It was a pretty straightforward set. Like, I, oh, and actually, I needed a lot of it. Look, that person put together a pretty good game. 73 was. I, I needed five percent on. I only five percent. So we play 12 boards. 100 divided by 12 is it's, it's more than five percent of board. So so it's like eight. That's like eight percent of board. So that's I, I won by less than a board. I'll, I'll basically, average to to to. Like if if one of my above average boards was a zero, I would have been second. Uh, cool. All right. So I, I actually, I, I'm done playing today, but I do want to pick your guys' brain for a minute. I've been, I've been working on, on something. Maybe I can zoom this in a little. Um, I, I'm trying to figure out ways of uh, the, the the titles that I use for my lessons up until now of, of fundamentals, intermediate, and advanced. I find they're too generic, and I'm trying to figure out a better range of. How do I make this bigger view? Uh, zoom. So there. So no, oh, that's too big. So I'm I'm trying to kind of come up with a scale that 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 is so I can kind of number them for difficulty where there's different levels of advance and you can see what I've kind of put down so far. I'm not really going to have any of this level zero stuff on my website of of never playing bridge before, uh, and I, I've I've decided that ten like I, I want to have some degree of lessons that even my advanced players that I tell them like actually stay away from this stuff. This I'm only teaching this for the people that really want to know what I'm playing with my regular partner and and I don't recommend this even for advanced players. So that's what ten is going to be like. Like basically warning stay away this is only for the crazy people uh, and but then I thought like okay so then there's there's like these there's everybody thinks of themselves as intermediate so I I, I, I don't and, and everybody are pretty much intermediate even advanced players they, they need to learn some things that are intermediate and Inter intermediate players should all be learning things that that advanced players are learning there's a very a, a strong overlap but I'm trying to kind of lay this out where where I I, I, but I, I I need to define these level levels, um, so I, I'm thinking like like level six, let's say, uh, are, are uh, th everything an intermediate needs to know to become advanced, kind of thing like that. Advanced beginner for level three, yeah. Advanced beginner, yeah. I, 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 I've always stayed away from that just because I feel like once you consider yourself an advanced beginner, uh, you're kind of intermediate. Yeah. So, so, so what I'm trying, I'm, I'm, my goal is, is when I put up a lesson, uh, to to basically help people know whether they should be attending it. Because what it, what has happened to me over the past summer is I had a lot of people who just kind of came to all my lessons, right? And and which is great. I'm 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 okay with anybody coming to any lessons, but uh, I, I I I'm not I'm not I'm not considering. So this is let me just make this clear right now. So I'm not these these levels are not going to be like levels of the student. I'm not expecting the student to think of themselves as a level four or a level six or a level seven. What I'm trying to do is define the content and then let people decide what they want to want want to to uh, come to so basically like uh, if you see something that's level one through three that's going to be for anybody that associates themselves with the fundamentals they need to they need anywhere from basic stuff up to reinforcing the basic stuff to just above the basic stuff and then all like levels uh, where are we uh, this was supposed to be four or five and six these are all going to be for intermediate players they're, 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 I'm not I'm not creating more um, more 
division for the players. What I'm try, what I want to do is kind of define. Um, I'm trying to think of how, how how to articulate what I'm saying. So, like, look, the, when I put something as advanced, let me let me tell you what. what so, so I, what I've done so far with advanced, some things are for advanced. You can be an advanced player, and and, and there there are certain things that are that are pretty basic for advanced and then there's an, uh, so other things that I've been titling as advanced that are like my expert system with other with with, with my with my partners so I'm having some people coming and learning conventions that they shouldn't because they're willing to take advanced because they identify as advanced but I'm what I want to do is kind of like is expand it so that like by, by doing it on a sort of number scale I'm not forcing this somebody to feel like I don't want to call it expert right because I don't I don't want to feel like you have to be an expert to take the class I don't want it to be related to your level I just want you to know what you're going to expect when you come to a lesson if that that makes uh, sense so so yeah so we, Mark what you're saying about the level uh, that would be if, if I was trying to define the level of a player I'm trying to define the level of a lesson uh, so uh, let, let me let me let me let me keep going on one. Let me let me try um, uh, basics uh, imperative first knowledge for beginning bridge players. Okay, um, level three might be uh, something like um, try and think of. Uh, what I'm trying to say for so this is like uh, expanding into inter I want to I, I I this is what my, my why I'm kind of even bringing it up now like I I I'm a I'm I'm not great with language and and b I, I'm it's so overwhelming to me how to divide I don't have to do zero to ten for what it's worth I'm just trying to try uh, instead of just being beginner intermediate advanced expert i'm tr I, I would like to exp kind of give people a gauge this is advanced but this is really advanced and unnecessary versus this is advanced and it's absolutely necessary you must learn this thing as long if you consider yourself close to advanced this has to be studied versus this is kind of optional Yeah, I mean, so so so, Monique, that that, that that's kind of where where what I'm going with. So all the stuff I did with Wolpert's on competitive bidding, like well, there's a perfect class. So perfect. Let, let me let me bring it up. Let me let me go through what I have on on Wolpert's on competitive bidding. I'll, I'll show you the classes. Uh, this is kind of what so where 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 I'm I started with this. So. When, going back to when I started, uh, when when I when I was writing when I when I was when I was doing these lessons like this this two suited hands class and the art of balancing, I did it with an intermediate player in mind, but uh, they ended up being kind of advanced intermediate. So then what I what I told my students or what people who were asking me what level are these classes at, I would always tell them that that they're they're made for intermediates, but they're really everything that an intermediate needs to know to become advanced. But then at some point in this, in this, um, like dealing with overcalls uh, and dealing with overcalls too, when you get to the later halves of those lessons, there it gets quite difficult, and it's more like you need to be advanced to really grasp it. Like maximal doubles is it in the doubles classes? Is it something that really an intermediate? It's too difficult for an intermediate to you. You need it's like, uh, yeah. So 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 yeah. So but then I came back to a lesson like hand evaluation, which was. Um, which, which uh, really was much more of an intermediate lesson, where I taught the basics of dummy points, and and um, but they're all for intermediates. But this is like essential. This would be like the hand evaluation was like a level three, okay? Uh, and dealing with overcalls, uh, I don't know if you remember what I taught in these classes, but the, 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 it was like a uh, it was. It started as like level three. I would call it level four because it's more. It's your full intermediate need. You need to be a full intermediate to get it. But really, advanced beginners. That's kind of their way into being an intermediate. So, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. I'm just thinking, thinking as I'm speaking and. So 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 yeah. So I guess just to put it, so so level three is uh, level four would be would be uh, like kind of um, in, in, like 
I, I mean, I guess I, I can also not be so or so specific and and kind of just say like, okay, level level one through three. Let me let me let me merge these cells and and let me we'll call this. Uh, you you let you like advanced beginner. Okay, advanced beginner is is that's I can call that for now. I can where do how do I, how do I merge data tools merge cells? There you go merge vertically so I can call these uh, these advanced beginner and and just basically let people know and 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 view I need to wrap where's the data where's the wrap and I can call all of these intermediate I'm used to using Excel and not Google I'm 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 a little bit of a uh, I'm a little neurotic about my uh, so and so yeah these chats going quick because I'm I'm ha I'm really I really appreciate your help and sticking around to answer these questions because I this is a daunting problem to me so thank you for staying so. Um, so you're saying maybe with this, yeah, this continuum we made, you just put certain concepts along, like, but yeah. So, so you're saying I basically th th do something like this, where, where exactly what I'm doing, and then and then just kind of describe, uh, yeah, that that makes actually complete sense, Sam. That maybe that. Uh, so so I see what you're saying. Let me just fi finish this up, and and so this is and data merge cells, or or was it tools format merge cells. So I basically, like, I, I do a diagram like this on a page on the website where, where uh, and, and, and I just basically say that, like, this is how I'm laying it out, and if it's level, if it's on the higher end of your difficulty, it's on the higher end, and that's just going to be how I kind of, uh, how, how I, and, and it's still not an exact science. I, I still struggle with, with, with what intermediate players know and what advanced players know. I always struggle, and I always go too difficult, and, and, and I, I kind of have to tone it down. Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't, because I, I learn bridge at a weird rate, right? Like my mom just kind of threw me in head first and I, I didn't really go through a standard progression of learning things. So I was learning two over one before I was learning like super basic, like, like I, 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 I learned mixing matches. I didn't have a natural progression. So, so, but that I, I completely understand what you're saying. And, and I agree. I don't, maybe I don't need to define them uh, as, as, as. Um, so like basically, yeah, and I can, I can put, I, basically I can like put it like an arrow and say like, like, yeah, that's what you, I think what you're describing, Sam, like I can, I can draw like uh, an arrow right here that kind of, and then, and then like have it say like this, this, th th these are concepts that, that are, this lesson is at this level or, and maybe just people will get used to it after a while anyway, they'll just kind of know, okay, they'll, they'll, uh, if I, if I decide that it's a level four or level five or whatever, and, and they can come and, ooh, that's too, that was too much. And then they'll just know, uh, maybe they'll just figure it out in that way. Um, it just, I wanted a way to, I, w I need a way to separate, uh, my, my, uh, like like it just, it's just these wide ranges, like advanced, it's such a wide range. I mean, uh, like the, yeah. Thanks. Okay. I, I think that even helped. I, I, I don't even, I, I agree with you that, that it's too much to define each and every single lever level. I, I, I think I like this called, I like this called fundamentals a little bit more, but I, I, I yeah, there might be another level in here. Maybe, maybe I, I can break them up a little bit more like uh, two, two is, two is a, uh, two in a time. All right, I will. I will think this through. All right, all right. Thanks. That's that. Um, so I was thinking. I, I wanted. Where's my? Where's Where's Bridge Base? I, I was gonna try. I, we're gonna be doing a broadcast on Friday on Rob's uh, YouTube channel, uh, where where we're gonna go over. Um, sorry, I, I'm just reading you what you're saying there. Uh, yeah, exactly what you said, Carl. Exactly. I can say this in Advanced Seven or Advanced Nine. Um,
Yeah, I, I agree about people self-evaluating as, as, as they, they definitely feel like they're better than they are for sure. But when it comes to like how I'm describing my lessons, that people are going to self, it'll self-regulate. Like if you think you're advanced and you come to my expert lesson, you're going to, you'll, you'll find out quickly if it's too much for you. It's different than how you perceive yourself when you're looking for a partner on bridge base versus how you're, uh, what knowledge you're looking to gain, like to learn. It's, it's two different, two different things. Um, yeah, I, I, and, and Mark, I agree with you. It's uh, I, I, that's the way I've I've kind of done these classes up until now. Is is I've kind of started uh, early, slow and and got more advanced as the hour went on. Like you know, and, and at some point in the lesson, I say like, okay, you've probably learned enough, but this next part is just for the my, my most advanced players in the room. Like, take a break if you're not advanced. Like I I, I, I like doing that. I think I'm gonna go about it differently now. Like in my class that I'm designing for September, um, what what I'm doing is I'm breaking up like uh, so just for, as an example uh, for my advanced uh, thing that I'm, I'm doing for September I'm, I'm, I'm doing I'm gonna do a series on dealing with interference after one no Trump and now when I'm dealing with interference over one no Trump instead of just doing some master series class on dealing with interference over one no Trump where I just jam it full of content the way I'm designing it is I, I'm doing a bunch of of smaller classes that are some of them are actually just gonna be pre-recorded videos that are not on um that are that are not on a topic uh they're sorry that are that are that, that are on a very specific topic that isn't enough for a whole lesson and and basically by by putting the level on these topics some of them will be very basic or or will be good for intermediate players but at, it'll go to a degree to the point where some of the stuff intermediate players shouldn't go anywhere near. So as an example, like I'm going to do one lesson on what to do when the opponents double you for penalty over one no Trump. Okay, and then I'll do another lesson on negative doubles after one no Trump. And then I'll have a big webinar lesson on transfer Lebensal, but that is not for my intermediate students. But some of the stuff like negative doubles over one no Trump is. So so that's kind of, uh, that's kind of where I'm going for it and then I'll have shark bridge classes that kind of practice the whole series at the same time so that I and, and, and or like specific parts of the series so that's kind of what I'm going for uh, and and exactly that was exactly my thought was 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 I don't want to stop at the super basic concept uh, I, I want to expand but I don't want the wrong people coming to the wrong lessons uh, because what what I found uh, was w w was one of my biggest pain points with my shark classes for my advanced classes is is quite a few people were in over their heads they were playing methods that were too difficult for them and they want to learn my advanced stuff but then uh, it's very hard for them when, when, when we're doing the shark bridge practice because they, they get put with a partner and they feel bad about being with a partner. I, this way I can kind of divide it up and say like, don't come to these handful of classes. This is not for you, but come to the rest of this stuff. And I can do that by, by numbering my content and doing it without, without I don't want to exclude people, but I want to get people into the classes that they should be in m more naturally. So that's what I'm trying to get at with these le level thing anyway. So, all right. Uh, it was, this was very helpful uh even if yeah thanks very much for for uh yeah cool uh, so the other thing I, was, I guess this is uh, this is over i was thinking i wanted to just uh do some kibitzing um on 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 friday rob and i are doing uh a a this is this my sound from bridge base come through on the stream do you hear the clicking or not like as each card plays, you know. See, so if you hear it lightly, it's because you hear it coming out of my headphones into the into the mics. But I have to turn it off for a second. This is going to end up. Um, I'm sure at some point I'm going to be playing and I'm going to forget it's my turn because there's no sound uh, now that I turned it off. Anyway, sorry. So uh, we're doing a view graph thing, like a little bit like what we did uh, last month or maybe two months ago, uh, where we're just jumping around kibitzing. And this, there, there's this event. That this, this is the event right now that's going on, this alt elevator. It's a really awesome format where, where people are going up and down. Um, uh, basically every day they make a cut and some teams move up to the top bracket and some teams move down and on Friday they'll be down to four teams in the final in the, in the, in the top half of this top part of this 25 or 30 team it's I think there's 30 teams in the event but there will be four teams in the finals so Rob and I are going to be 
kibitzing, uh, but we're going to be jumping from table to table because they're all playing the same hands at the same time. And so we're going to go over and we're going to talk, uh, yeah, just basically go through it and try to, we, we're, this time we're going to try to also uh, bring uh, actual, the players into the broadcast and we're going to talk to them while they're playing uh, and Maybe if, if we can get people to accommodate us after the there's a winner, we might bring them in to, to do a little post-game interview, congratulations, trophy presentation, whatever you want to call it. Not a pro, not, not, we don't, we're not the trophy givers, but yeah. So it'll be, uh, you won't see more than one table at a time, no. Uh, you'll, you will see, uh, we've already done it. I can show you, I, I, I can, uh, on, I think it's uh, Bridge Lesson YouTube uh, Nuco. Five, I think that's what it's called, or alt there. So you see, that the, if you if you Google alt event five replay, you'll see our first go at it. This was from May twenty eighth. Uh, we're gonna try and build on it. We 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 were still learning the software and learning learning how to, how to mess with it when when we did it last time. I think it'll be better this time, except for the fact that Rob is on the road rather than at his house with his awesome desktop computer. He's instead on a laptop. That's causing this problem. But yeah, Mark, that's exactly what we're going for with the broadcast. Uh, was was uh, um, like based on a sports broadcast, we were kind of like. In fact, we like I we have advanced copies of the hands, so we know what good good hands are going to come up, and we can kind of go through the hands before you sew it before you before you see it uh, before we watch the people play. Kind of based off like a golf mentality of like first you do the flyover, like look the player is going to have to hit this part over here so that they have the, their best approach shot to the green. Instead for us, it'll be like, okay, North-South can make six clubs, but they're going to have a really hard time diagnosing diagnosing this and this and this, and this is how they might do it, and this is what we'll see who has the tools to get to the slam and blah, blah, blah. That's kind of the idea that, that, that I believe will help pro popularize the game of bridge to make it a little bit more accessible for normal people rather than just I, I for me personally watching view graph commentators look at all four hands and just say what can be made I, I, I don't think that's good for intermediates I don't think it's a great show I think it's commentators kind of just showing what they know about the game uh, it's, it's it's not I, I don't think it's the right approach anyway and so we're trying something new we're trying we're trying something new we're going to keep going at it every month or two and and try to improve on it but yeah i don't know where it'll go but but i definitely uh it's friday at i believe so the, the, let me let me uh alt.bridgeresults.org uh, I have to look at their conditions of contest to you know. So the last set, it start the set itself starts at 1:40 Eastern time on Friday, uh, but we're gonna go live about a half hour before to introduce the uh, uh, the players, the event some of the hands even before they start playing so that last time we it was like the event started and then it was like this big uh, you, it was very it was very difficult for us to talk about the hands before they started playing because they jump right in and play the first hand so so this time we're going to try and start a little earlier and actually go over a few hands before they happen like and and, and kind of have more of a set broadcasting schedule like okay at, at this time we're going to bring in this person to talk to us and at this time we're going to bring we're going to try and be a little bit more organized this Friday although with that said we have not spent any time working on it so so hopefully uh, hopefully between now and then we will we will have something um, yeah a little bit more uh, so th this looks like there's 12 board sets here so it'll be 12 boards again on Friday 140 is when game time is for the players but we're gonna go live earlier um, so the link, if you subscribe to Rob's uh, YouTube, uh, it's Bridge Lesson, Bridge Lesson YouTube. Uh, he he, when he goes live on there, a notification sends, uh, gets sent to everybody who's subscribed to his his uh, page. Uh, we're also going to post it on the front page of Bridge BridgeWinners.com on Friday. Uh, that's what we did last time. Um, it, yeah, so either one of those two things uh, will work for getting to it. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm not going to jump into this hand in the middle, but I'm we'll just kibitz the last couple of hands here of this of this this event. Uh, it looks like a pretty pretty close. It looks like they're. Um, I don't I don't know how to tell uh, whether they're in the top bracket or not, but I guessing table two sounds like they are. Uh, if I'm going back here, I just want to look. I can look at the results from yesterday or even today. Group, oh, group A still has 12 teams right now. So uh, tomorrow, so basically at the end of today, 
uh, the bottom four teams out of this bracket drop to group B, B but only two teams come back up so and every at every cut the top bracket is getting smaller and smaller and smaller that you can still have the opportunity to move up or down and every at every cut uh, but then by Friday they will have isolated four teams in the top bracket and they play for the title so that's kind of it's kind of a neat format kind of complicated uh, and I'm just looking for who who's uh, Gupta is here in first place, you can see, and uh, that's who's on right there. And then what was the other team called? Russia. So Russia's playing third, and it is a Swiss team, so that's why I, I'm guessing Gupta has already played Hungary. Uh, that's perhaps why why that they're the, it's one versus three here in this round, and they're having a tight match. We'll watch a couple hands, and then we'll call it a day. Thank you, everybody, for your help with the, uh, with, with, yeah, I appreciate you, you're sticking around and talking to me. So, all right, so this is the, the next hand. It looks like they were in three hearts making by East-West on, on, at the other table. Um, where's the dealer? So, South, South, that's interesting that South didn't open. I would open that hand, that 11 count. Uh, obviously, it's not their style. When I have 11 count in a five card suit, I'm opening a diamond. Um, it looks like they've done well, too. Uh, if they if they didn't open, North has 11 two. So, if they had opened a diamond, it would have gone a diamond, a spade, a no trump. And North, oh, look, they passed it out. So, uh, and then and then North might have invited, although if you come to my classes, uh, you, you'll know that I, that's a big, big no-no in my books. I'm just show you this hand again that what I'm suggesting is that if South opened a diamond a spade an O Trump I say with 11 points when your partner shows an 11 to 14 no Trump that you should not be inviting game so that's how the, I would have bid this hand a diamond a spade a no Trump all pass uh, that's that and that, and that and, and one no uh, by North South would have made easily so you, you would have earned a plus score by opening North South who opened at the other table I wonder uh, at the other table I uh, went they opened a diamond pass, a spade pass, but they raised with three spades. They raised with three card support with ace, ten, nine. And now it went pass, pass, and this hand is pretty aggressive but smart. Uh, you 4-4 four, four in the unbid suits in an opening hand. She reopened double, uh, and it went pass, and, and he bid 2-0 no Trump, which I guess was systemically like Levin saw. So just a bad hand, and, and it went, when it went double by Zia to show a maximum hand over here, Pass, pass, three hearts, and and it actually made, which uh, I guess it only lost a diamond, a spade, and two clubs. But they they might have been able to negotiate a club rough if they got on it quickly. No, because then they could just use the the, the club to throw away the diamonds. So There's nothing that they could do to beat three hearts on the hand. All right, so the last hand here uh, was pass out kind of threw it. A wrench in the plans to watch two hands, but uh, this hand it went uh, pass, pass, and a spade opener, a no trump overcall, very straightforward pass. What is this? Two hearts asking about four hearts. That is a new convention for me. I guess they want to be on declarer play because they want that one spade bidder to be on lead. That that must be the way that their system is designed. Because otherwise, you could just bid stamen. Oh, I I, I come to think of it, I I, I there. There is people. There are people that play some weird methods after overcalls. I, I, although I don't know, I don't. I don't know what they're doing here. This is Team Russia with their with their scientific fancy tools. So now South has to say no. I don't have four hearts. I suppose. Yeah. And now and now North is going to invite with their nine point hand. It's a very strong nine point hand up there with those king queen jack ten of diamonds. Can I get this, rid of this? I don't want to see that. Yeah, the king queen jack ten of diamonds. I would be just blasting game with this hand, with this north hand. I would not be inviting. I don't. I don't think it's right to invite with ten nine, but with king queen jack ten, I would just and especially opposite an overcall, which is slightly stronger than an opening of one no. Uh, you know, you could have eighteen. Uh, you don't overcall bad fifteen counts. Th um, anyway, this it, it was irrelevant on this hand because they they invited they accepted with their well placed ace queen jack of spades and their good five clubs. Uh, it was definitely worth an invite. And now uh, they can actually it looks like take a ton of tricks on this hand if they knew the whole hand. Um, if they knew the whole hand, uh, they can they have two entries to dummy with the king of diamonds and the king of hearts uh, to double finesse clubs. 
So they can actually, they can make five, it looks like. I don't know if I, can I double dummy and see if they make five? Can they make plus two? Yeah, plus two. So so they, they can make five, but it would actually take some tricky play to make five. Let me turn that off now. Hi, double dummy. Uh, so they're going to win the spade, and they're going to go after diamonds, it looks like, first. They're going to duck the diamond, and that's when things are going to get a little bit awkward for Declare because the, Declare doesn't really have another entry to dummy. Uh, so they're going to win these spades, and they're going to play. It seems like they must play a diamond, uh, but then... After the diamond wins, they're up to three spades and a diamond is four. They're only they can only really build four club tricks on the surface. Uh, it turns out they can take all five club tricks by double finessing. But East can pop in the jack, uh, split their honors with the jack. But on, on this end, they probably will not do that. Uh, mostly, I, I think because they can see that the King of Hearts is a re-entry to dummy, so they're they're not actually benefiting anything by splitting. So I think on this end, it will go diamond to the king. East will duck. I, I'm guessing they play... I, I want to see their convention card. East-West convention card. Uh, they play Smith Echo against No Trump. So uh, you, you're going to see a trick two here. Um, they're going to play... If, uh, if East-West, either one of them, if they like the spade lead, they're going to play high-low in whatever suit they play at trick two. So if, if we see the self lead a diamond, I think West... Is is I don't know whether they're going to say they like it or they don't. Uh, they had three spades, which is unexpected. But I, I so uh, now you'll see with a three-two. If he likes spades, he's going to play the three. So he's saying he likes spades when he played that three of clubs. And actually, East doesn't have a choice now. Uh, East. This is actually a. I mean, it looks like a. He's safety playing the club suit in case it was four-one. Uh, so he's played ace of clubs, ten of clubs. So now, even if West didn't have any clubs, he'd set the club suit up to be, be able to finesse. Um, so now he's got three spades and four clubs is seven. He's going to get a diamond when they duck. And then that'll be eight, and then he'll be able to take a heart for nine. That's I, th I predict he's only going to make nine tricks on this hand um, at this stage. He's winning this. He's going to play a diamond right away. Because he wants to keep that club communication to his hand. He's not going to cash his clubs just yet. Because uh, after he plays a diamond... Well, I guess... Uh, yeah, whatever. He, he, here we go. Diamond. They win. They're going to duck. He needs to duck to... To, um, to hold it to three... Because at this stage, now now he's going to make four. So it's going to go spade back. Yeah. So now he's just got the rest. You know, he doesn't have the rest, but but he, he's going to only lose one more trick. So he's going to make an extra trick. So Russia is going to win this set 18-15. And that, I doubt that will, just to see that, you, yeah, that's not going to cause a huge difference in the standings here. But they definitely, both of those teams are going to qualify, for, are going to remain in the top bracket before the next cut, which I believe is after this match. Uh, although I don't know. You see there's Group B, and I, I think that there will eventually be a Group C. Uh, after a while, a, a, another group will be made. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Complicated stuff. All right. Uh, so you, uh, look, this time it's funny because it, I, I, I was just, uh, I, I don't have, I don't have a rooting interest, Carly, and I, I have too many friends on too many teams. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Uh, but I, I will say that, that it's, it's, it's one thing, like you saw what I was just doing right now is kind of what Kibbutz view graph is, 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 is a person, um, a person like a kibitzer, like I'd never seen that hand before, so I actually had to sit and figure out what was going to happen on the hands and talk to you at the same time. So a, I'm going to make mistakes in my analysis, and b, I have to think really, really quickly. So the big difference between what we're going to do on Friday is I will know the hands, I'll know what's happening, I will know what to talk to you about. Uh, Rob and I both, I, I say I, but we will know. Although Rob, when we're doing these presentations, he is so busy doing a lot of the technical stuff. It's it, What he does is it's beyond impressive to me. It blows my mind what he does to make the presentation happen, uh, to make it look nice and, and smoothly jump from table to table. It's, it's like a... but but uh, w So for me, kibitzing and talking you through hands that I've already seen is so much simpler than, than doing it on the fly. It's not simpler, it's just... 
you, you, I'm more prepared. My remarks will be more prepared. I'm not going to obviously speech read. I'm still going to be talking like I normally do, but I, 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 I at least will be prepared to the point where I'll know what problems to talk to you about and what to sh- what to show you know what to show you beforehand's happen and I, I i hope it'll be an exciting exciting thing i hope i hope it improves upon last time and yeah so that'll be friday otherwise i'll see you tomorrow morning i i i'll do uh uh i, I will I'll, i will do the, the the instant instant tournament with rob on his bridge lesson so go ahead and subscribe to his bridge lesson youtube if, if you haven't already you'll get a notification for tomorrow mornings uh um thing and also for friday's uh view graph thing thanks everybody and i will uh see you soon bye bye